All right, so I bought some LED lights from Abstract Ocean so I could throw one in my trunk. And then for the four door puddle lights, turns out that only my front doors have puddle lights. And while I was uh, back here, I noticed something. Let's see if we can see it here. But there's that little cutout already. And this is where cars normally have extra lights, or the Teslas do. I started playing around with it, and I found that um, if you pull out the little circle things here, I'll show you what they look like, these bad boys. Uh, there's two longer ones for these two, and then these short ones for the other side. So there's four of them in total, but this actually pulls back, and you can grab this, so I just set that there. You can grab this and pull it as well. Let's see here, it's best if you start from up here. I learned that on the other one. It's kind of hard to do one-handed. Okay. Pull this back, and this right here, if you look closely, there's some extra wire here. So I'm gonna undo the tape here. Sorry about the video quality. I'm trying to do this one-handed. This tape here, what does this reveal? Look at that. That right there is for adding a light. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna punch this out real quick and then I'm gonna connect it. When you put the light through this side first um, and then it sits snug up against this backing, whatever it's called, and then this just plugs right into it. All right, so the other one I was able to punch out by hand, this one I'm not, I'm gonna take a razor blade to it. Um, you can actually see on this, the outline. I mean, they've already pre-cut it for you. Why they didn't just install the lights, I don't know. Um, had the lighting upgrade, so why did it not get these? I don't know. Anyways. Alright. So again, there's the cutout. It was already done for me. find my light because of course I don't have one with me. This one doesn't say abstract ocean so this is one of my originals that I took out of the front puddle lights and I'm just gonna take it and stick it right in here. It literally just pops in. That's it. There's nothing else to it except for taking this. Oh I put it in backwards. I'm an idiot. Let's try this again. Now it just simply pops in, plug it in, and you can see that there's light there. So I now have two and three. I'd highly recommend this upgrade from Abstract Ocean. The LEDs are way brighter on the doors and on the footwells. And I'm going to actually look into seeing about if my doors in back are upgradable. Because, let's see if we can get this. Yeah, I got the light on. Look at these doors back here. Yes, my car is dirty. I know. But if you look right under here, this is where the puddle lights go. It's like it's already got a hole cut out. I'm gonna try and figure out whether or not there's extra wiring up there so I can actually throw the puddle lights in. Five minutes later. Alright, so here I am working on adding lighting to the bottom of my rear doors. So my front doors have the puddle lights, the rear doors do not. Um, I'm going to show you how I did this. It's a fairly simple process, um, but I don't know if I can get the lighting right because it's dark behind my car. But anyways, so you open the door, remove the speaker grill, super simple. All you do is grab it from the bottom right here and just pull out a little bit, pops right off. After that, what you're going to want to do is look right in this hole and I wish I could get this to focus. You're gonna have some cords right here, okay? If you look at it, you'll see that there's an extra little connector that's used for all the lights. Tesla uses all the same ones on the doors, the trunk, the front, um, the wheel wells, all that jazz. Um, so what I did is I came under here, took the Zacto knife and cut around, and then I used that actually for my benefit. So I put my light up in this hole, and then I would use the Zacto knife through this hole cutting just a little piece of tape. Now you wanna be careful that you don't cut any of the extra wires because you've got wires in here for your window, all right? So obviously my window still works, I didn't cut that. 
wires for your speaker in there somewhere. I didn't see those, I don't think. Um, and so what I did was I ended up cutting that, and I was able to just grab it and feed it down um, over this little lip here and down to where this light goes. So you can see kind of through this crack, there's the top of the puddle light there. You plug it in and pop the light in, and you're good to go. So now I have rear puddle lights on that side, and I'll do them on the other side here shortly.